Okay. Help is on the way for tens of thousands of kids being left behind by mandatory online learning. That's because their families don't have the money for internet access. The plan offers free, limited public internet access for qualified families. Cardio News Channel 13's Crystal Story is live in our studio to break it all down for us. Crystal. Heather, it was last year the Colorado Department of Education found 65,000 students were without internet, making it almost impossible, impossible for them to learn at home. Now, today's announcement is a good first step to bridge that gap, but it may not be enough. Here's the reality. Working online doesn't come easy for every family, but chances are your student will have to learn virtually at some point this year. We know that there are still far too many kids at home that lack access to high speed broadband. Governor Polis and Attorney General Phil Weiser announced today a new partnership between the state and T-Mobile to allow low income families to get internet access for free. Free Wi-Fi hotspots and up to 100 gigabytes of annual data for 34,000 low income households and access to, low, to uh, internet devices. The announcement comes as schools figure out how to toggle between the classroom and online while keeping students on track. But is 34,000 hotspots enough? Weiser said today his office has filed a petition with the Federal Communication Commissions asking for more money. The FCC has the ability to provide funds that support that learning. We want them to use that authority to help the many students here in Colorado who need that support. Now the big question is, will 100 gigabytes be enough for one household, possibly with multiple students? We reached out to local school districts here in Southern Colorado to see how much one student uses in one day. We'll have those numbers for you at 6 o'clock. In the studio, Crystal Story, Cardio News Channel 13. Thank